kasi yung ano para makapagtrabaho or kung ano man gawin. Certificate na bibigay mo sa parents mo for the hard work. Pag mag-work ka na, mas mataas kasi at saka mas malaki yung sweldo. Sobrang mahalaga siya kasi ito yung sukli ko sa paghihirap ng mga mag-ulap. Ayon sa 2013 survey na ginawa ng Philippine Statistic Authority, ang maagang pag-asawa bago makatapos ng pag-aaral ang may pinakamalaking porsyento kung bakit hindi nakakapasok sa eskwentahan ang mga estudyante. Sumunod naman ang kawalan ng interes at syaga ng mga kapataan sa pagpasok sa eskwentahan. Ang hindi sapat na pondo upang matustusan ang pangangailangan sa paalam kung kaya't ang iba ay pinili na lamang maghanap buhay ng maaga kaysa mag-ano. Isang kadahilanan din ang pagkakaroon ng isang individual ng kapansanan. Ito ay isang suliranin ng ilan nating kababayan na hindi nabibigyan ng sapat na atensyon ng ating gobyerno. Noong taong 1995, ang TUA ay nakatanggap mula sa dating Pangulong si Fidel V. Ramos ng kauna-unahang pagkilala sa institusyon ng Friendliest School for the Disabled, kung kaya't ang paaralan ay mas lalong nakilala. Taong 2011, na makilala ko si Theodore James Domingo. Kilala rin bilang TJ ng mga taong malalapit sa kanya. Kung siya'y pagmamasdan, malalaman mo na may espesyal siyang taglay. Sa unang pagkakataon ko pa lamang siyang nakita, napatanong ako sa aking sarili. Kung makakayanan ba ng isang katulad niya ang mundong puno ng mapangusga? Si TJ ay pangalawa sa dalawang anak ni na Mrs. Teodora at Mr. Abraham Domingo. Ang pagpapalaki sa dalawang anak ni na Mr. Abraham ay hindi naging madali lalo na sa kalagayan ni TJ. Ika nga nito, sa Diyos lamang sila lumapit upang manghingi ng gabay sa pagpapalaki ng tama sa kanyang mga anak. Sino si Dr. Domingo bilang estudyante ko? Masipag, responsable, mabait, palangiti, uh, may initiative. Siya ang maghahabol para itanong sa iyo kung ano ang assignment, kung meron siyang namisa quiz, at kung ano pa yung mga darating na gawain. So, si Tidor Domingo ay isang kapuri-puring estudyante. Uh, very few people understand this or know this about me. When he was a kid, no, very, very uh, slow ang kanyang physical development. In fact, mm -hmm. Ang kanyang speech development was so slow that I think two years old na siya pero hindi pa siya nakapagsalita ang straight. That's why we even suspected that he had some kind of autism. So he underwent speech therapy. Of course, he was in a special school for about two years. Kaya he graduated at the age of 23. Diba? Ay, contact niya. Diba? Speech therapy. But although he has some control over it, pero uh, in reference to the regular guy, di ba, makikita mo yung difference eh. Nung um, bata pa ako, hindi ko halos ginawa lahat ng mga takdang halin ko. Kaya so, yung tamad-tamad ako ng konti. Pero pagdating ko doon, um, pinaway ko na yung ano yung... What I mean, pinaway ko na yung composure ko para i pasa ko yung lahat ng mga performance and promote to the next level, grade, grade level, hanggang, hanggang sa gumaduate ko ako ng elementary. Uh, Nag-hire ako ng tutor when I was in high school, in the brink of failure. Nagpa-tutor ako sa mathematics when I was in the fourth year. Bata pa lamang si TJ ay kinahiligan na nitong umawit. Patunay nito ang pagsali niya sa organisasyon sa mga paaralang kanyang pinasukan na nagpahasa sa kanyang daling umawit. Sa katunayan, 
Madami ring pagtatanghal siyang nadaluhan sa panahon ng kanyang kolehiyo na masasabing daig pa niya ang karamihang normal na estudyante. Katulad din ng ibang mga bata, pinagdaan na rin ni TJ ang bullying. Ngunit dahil sa ibang sitwasyon ni TJ, ito ay hindi naging madali para sa kanya upang labanan ang bugso ng damdamin sa tuwing siya'y inaasahan. Malaki siya. For his, for his peers, who's big, kaya takot sila. Damo, kasi pwede niyang bitbitin ang classmate niya at ihagis. Eh. Ano siya, ano eh. He was physically uh, 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 advanced in, in terms of development. Pati niya akong tinutokso ng mga kaklase ko, especially ng mga boys. Pati niya akong pinubuli and I get thrown into a tantum kung nabuisit ako sa... Um, sorry. During my first year, ano, um, nung sumali pa ako ng in, intramurals, during my first year, ano, kinalmot ko si Carl Henel San Juan ng high school pa ako nun. During my second year, during ng linggo ng wika, mm -hmm. ano, During that time, na, na feeling disappointed ako dahil sa pagkatalong speech choir ng oh, Captain My Captain. At, after the contest, ano, nagpatog pa ako na ano, masasamang sayita towards the, towards the teacher. During my high school, pinasuspended niya ako for some of the days. Pag, kapag naulit ko yun, maaay akong i-dismiss sa nung buong taon ko kaya may experience. Ano ang hindi magkasalanan ng DJ? We insisted to suspend our child even for one day. Sabi ng sabi ng principal, tsaka ng guidance counselor, Sir Ma'am, hindi naman ang kailangan yung suspend kasi hindi naman yung kasalanan. At sabi namin is this, you know, we want to teach your child na to be responsible. Nakasakit siya ng ibang tao kahit hindi niya kasalanan, he has to have some consequences. Otherwise, hindi niya matutunan na ako. Huwag mo nang gagawin niya kasi may consequence yan. Kasi si TJ loves to go to school. He loves to go to school. Hindi siya nag-a-absent. Kaya alam namin yun eh, na ayaw na ayaw niya uma-absent. Kaya kapag na-penalize siya, no, hindi ka pwede pumasok, masakit sa kanya yun. Babaong talaga yun sa kanya. Because para sa kanya, he loves to go to school. He never absents himself in school. No, even when he's sick, he tries to go to school. Pa-value mo sa kanya yun. Kaya sabi namin, that is the right penalty para matanda yun. We never got involved in another problem like that. Because he's a man, and he's a man. 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 He's a driven or motivated by yung bibigyan mo ng reward. Sometimes. So, uh, all like, kahana, itong candy, gano'n, no? when he was a kid, parang, doon, uubra yun sa kanya, but when, when he, you know, no. mature, uh, it's more, uh, more, uh, accommodating sa reasoning rather than sa reward. In fact, si TJ is not a person who demands a lot of things. Ang concept niya ko, gifts na very simple in fact. So, yun nga, hindi, hindi namin ginagamit ng suhol as a way to calm it down. It's usually the reasoning, the explanation. Ang relevance ng pag-inis ko, ano, kung ano ka lang, I have to take a deep breath. Tapos, uh, uh, punta muna ako sa kwarto, or I want to be alone for, uh, for a short, short period of time. Hindi naman nagtatanim ako ng masamang loob. But in college, I am very quiet, quiet for now, and I met a lot of new friends here. Uh, I adjusted by only for myself, and sinubukan ko lang ano magtisip na hindi ako palasigaw, uh, magtapon pa ng mag, o oh, magpatupan ng ano ng masamang pakiramdam. 
during my college days, ano, I had to stay cool good for now. The fear is there. Plus, the fear of, alam mo na, hindi naman natin sa inaano, at meron din naman yung stigma yan. Diba? When the new kid does not behave as well as the other kids, when they mingle with each other, diba? Ano ba? Siyempre, along with your child, you become sort of weird din. Ano? Diba? In fact, I remember one incident when TJ was still a kid. Sinama na namin siya sa McDonald's and we had no, ano pa yung control niya noon, hindi maganda. And TJ just suddenly took uh, ice cream sundae and nakita nung natin. And then he apologized and said, uh, pasensya na po kayo. And then binabalik namin yung ano, yung sundae. Baka kayo nakawak niya, ayaw hawakan ng mm-hmm. parent. So, we apologized. But, yung mga ganong concerns mo na will this persist or will, will it ever you know, come to a stop? So, doon pumapasok din na sa iyong value ng belief mo eh. In, not just in, in ourselves as parents, but yung belief mo sa higher being. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's call Him God. You know? in, in our case, it's Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You know? Kasi there are limits to what we can do. As parents, we can only do so much. The rest is really beyond you. Eh. So, yung faith na yun, plus yung determination namin to stick, stick with what the race helped us. Halos lahat ng mga tao ko sa buhay ko ay pati sila nagsusuporta sa akin. Kahit yung, kahit yung perang panggasos ko sa pag-aaral ay wala naman ako pa bilang magawa. Mm-hmm. Wala sa lahat, ang nagpapalaka sa akin ay tiwala sa Diyos. Mm-hmm. Kasi dahil dyan sa mabuti biyaya, pagkatapos nun, yung support at pagmamahal ng magulang ko at ng kapatid ko. Support, support at pag-uunawa mula sa mga professors ko. So, basically, what I would like to share with them, there are three things kasi that is very core sa, sa, sa parenting. At least, this is what I believe. First is love. And we're not talking about just ordinary love, it's unconditional love. Why unconditional? Because your children will never live up to your expectations. They always fall short. No? Just as we always fall short. We are imperfect people. And it's the unconditional love that carries you through it. And divides when they turn out bad, when they don't do what you say. It's those times that your love is being challenged. So, unconditionally love of children and then support them. Give them the basics. Uh, I, do not, I do not recommend uh, spoiling children or, or giving them more than what they need. Because if you set the standards too high to be normal, they begin to expect more out of life. At the time, they could not afford such a lifestyle. And that's where you develop brands. And I don't believe in, in raising brands. So I raise my children based on what I can afford and what is needed, not what is wanted. So give them that support. Love and condition will give them that support. Second is instill the fear of God. Uh, it's hard to introduce God to a child if the child doesn't feel love. Why? Because how can you love someone you do not see? that which you see or that who you see, that the person you see, you cannot love. So children are like mirror, right? They are like mirrors. They only reflect. So you teach them love. There's a biblical proverb that says, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So you can do everything and anything to try to make your children intelligent. But if you believe in that proverb, you start off by telling your children there's a God who loves you and you are accountable to that God. First thing is love and condition. Second is introduce them to the fear of God. And lastly, give them the best education that you can possibly afford. Keeps on giving. Sabi, you can give somebody a fish, you feed him today. You give somebody a pet, teach somebody how to fish and you feed him for life. So, that to me is the most important thing. You meet those three requirements and I believe you've already done your role as a parent.
when you do that, release them. Prepare your children so that they can live the Masasabi ko for my fellow parents out there. Ang um, naging pangarap ko maging isang voice actor, writer, o kaya production assistant. I'm going to apply for voice talent, writer, and a production assistant. Papasalamat ako sa mga abuna ko dahil ako yung nagtapos. Naramdam ko, I'm feeling humbled and I thank, I thank to God for that. And I'm not too arrogant for that one kasi gift ng God sa akin. Ano lang, puso, tiwala, at saka kumpiyansa lang. Humble lang ang kainahan doon. Sa ngayon, si TJ ay naghahanda upang sumabak sa susunod na hamon sa kanyang buhay. Ito ay ang paghahanap ng trabaho. Totoo nga, malaking bahagi sa ating buhay ang pag-aaral. Ika nga ng ating mga magulang, ito ang tanging bagay lamang na kanila mapapamana na kahit sino'y hindi mananakaw. Ang edukasyon ay para sa lahat. Ito ay karapatan ng bawat isang nilalang sa mundo.